Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be making a vegan fennel salad. Let's get started. For this recipe, we'll be using two fennel bulbs. This is a whole fennel and the bulbs, stalks and fronts are all edible, but today we'll only be using the bulbs. For those of you wondering, a fennel plant has a licorice flavor, kind of like a star anise. We're going to start by separating the stalks from the bulb. Don't discard the stalks and the fronts, I've made a few recipes using them. Store them in your fridge until you need them. Next, trim off the tip of the root. It's very tough. Anyway, if yours have blemishes like mine, trim them off using your knife. Repeat the process for the second fennel bulb. When you're done, split your fennel bulb in half. Next, we're going to slice it up using a mandolin. You can also use a knife, but for it to look presentable, I suggest to use a mandolin. Oh, and I'm using a 2mm slicer on my mandolin. As you can see, the slices from a mandolin look beautiful and they have a uniform thickness. Repeat the process with your second fennel bulb. When you're done, set your sliced fennel aside. Luckily for us, it takes time for oxidation to kick in so we can work on the other ingredients. Over here, I have one red onion. We're going to slice it in half, then slice it using our mandolin. Of course, you can also use a knife. Again, a mandolin will slice your onions uniformly and that's what you want. We're also going to set this aside for now. Over here, I have a whole cucumber. We're going to slice off the tip, then slice again using our mandolin. Please be careful when using mandolins, they're extremely dangerous. As usual, slice and set it aside. Over here, we have what we call an Asian pear, and this is an optional ingredient. It's called a pear, but when you slice it in half, it looks like an apple. Totally confusing. You can also eat the skin if you like. It contains a lot of nutrients. As I mentioned earlier, this ingredient is optional. We're going to remove the core using a spoon. If you're enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps the channel. I'm sure you already guessed the next step. Yes, we're going to slice it using a mandolin. And yes, when we're done, we're going to set it aside. Over here, I have a fat peach fruit. This will be a great addition to our salad. It has a huge seed, so we're going to slice off the sides. This is a yellow peach, so it's slightly acidic and it has a tangy sweet taste. You can slice it using a mandolin or you can also cut it into cubes. As usual, set it aside when you're done. Next, chop two whole scallions and, say it with me, set it aside. Over here, I have about an eighth of a cup of walnuts. You can use more or less. Next, add about 10 almonds. If you're allergic to nuts, skip all of them. Add about three to four pecans. I had them left over, so. Now we're going to chop everything using a knife. Of course, you can also use your food processor. Okay, let's start assembling our salad. Add your fennel slices to a large bowl. Next, we're going to add our cucumber slices. Add your sliced onions, then your sliced peaches. You can stop here, season and eat, but I'm going to push it further. Over here, I have half a cup of julienne carrots. 
add your carrots to the bowl. Cranberries are optional, but they will taste great. Add about one tablespoon of cranberries for more sweetness and tartness. This is also optional, but you can add one tablespoon of pumpkin seeds. Add your chopped nuts, then you can add about a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. This is what makes this salad pop. Add about four to seven tablespoons of coconut aminos. For sweetness, we're going to add about three to four tablespoons of agave syrup. Again, this is optional, but highly recommended. For our fat, we're going to add about two to three tablespoons of olive or avocado oil. Next, we're going to add some sea salt. Adjust this to your taste. Over here, I have my alkaline everything sauce. This is a good option to add if you're not using oils and nuts. If you'd like to learn how to make it, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Add about two tablespoons of chopped scallions. Next, we're going to add the juice and the zest of a whole lemon. All right, now we can mix our salad. This looks really beautiful. Let's serve it up. If you'd like to see an alkaline vegan version, let me know in the comment section below. We're not done yet. Over here, I have what's called a pink orange. You can use blood oranges or regular oranges. It's up to you. Use them as a garnish. For more crunch, we're going to garnish with some pistachios. Of course, this is optional. Top it off with some sesame seeds and more scallions and you're done. There you go, restaurant quality, right in your kitchen. I didn't end up using my alkaline everything sauce because of all of the ingredients I used, but the salad is still very delicious. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all next week.